What is going on, guys? We're back with another video today. It is week 17 in our Austin Desperados Fantasy Draft Relocation Franchise. It's the final week of the regular season and the final regular season of this series. So we obviously want to make this thing count. Of course, you know we've been collecting some injuries. It's been our fun time uh, lately. McIntosh will come back soon. Burgess will be back for the playoffs as well. And then McFarlane, I don't know. Probably like championship or Super Bowl if we make it. Obviously, we just took a loss from the Dolphins. And then two weeks prior to the Chiefs. So, you know, it's not a guaranteed thing anymore. You know, we're starting to fall apart a little bit. Carter, he tried his best to keep us in the game. And unfortunately, we just fell short. Offense just didn't have it. Here we are going against the Chargers in L.A. I believe we're in L.A. here, are we? I don't know the stadiums, but we're supposed to be in L.A. We don't know what their roster looks like. I think i seen a glimpse of their quarterback. I think it was Dak Prescott, who's not playing. He's playing real Dak-like, I suppose. You know, low yards, low touchdowns. The picks are somewhat low. There he is. We obviously use in special uniforms just like they are. Well, as special as we can get. We got all black on, which we don't really rock too often. So it is pretty special. It looks like they may actually have drafted Hunter Henry. Nope. Like a sicky. 117 yards, one touchdown. They're developing him as uh, Hunter Henry, though. 86 as well. Jeez, the Band-Aid's fresh. Although we gave our rookie 52 in real life. Packers, at least. Sam Martin, hey, that's that's a move I did. Uh, we are going to get the ball first. Uh, I don't know how long Josh Allen's going to play. Obviously, he doesn't even have much of a chance at wards anyway. So there's no real reason to have him in at all today. But we'll give him a little bit of playing time just for the fact that it's going to be a bit of a long time until uh, the playoffs actually start for us. We're going to have a bye week after this. So two weeks off. Yikes, you know. We'll take a look at the numbers anyways. Josh Allen, of course, still had a pretty good season considering he missed like three games, I believe. 25 touchdowns, eight picks. I mean, we're, we basically have Dak Prescott's numbers, but we played less games. Even with the less games part, I just don't like to accept that we have Dak Prescott numbers. <laughs> Uh, I don't really want to run it, but we're going to run it because last week we didn't do a good job of running the ball. And their reactionary is too late. We got to run the ball better this week. I already feel like I like this playbook a lot more, though. So we'll see if Coach uh, put in the things we need to win. And Evan is wide open. Last game, I think it took two drives to get a first down. Here we are. Back-to-back -back plays, five-plus each. I wasn't joking about that run game. We're going to run the ball again. And nice cut move, but too many players to beat. Only a gain of one. Let's take a look at that Chargers defense. Chargers, Akeem Hicks, Morgan Sellers, Vernon Butler, and Jordan Willis. Eh, D-line. Linebackers, however, amazing. Really good linebackers. And then DBs, amazing as well. That's a good backfield. Well, whatever you want to call it. Second, I, I, it's not like a set. What is it? What's the linebackers in secondary called? Just linebackers in secondary? I don't know. Who cares? Clearly me if I'm talking about it so much. Evan. A little bit of a delayed throw, but it works. We got more yards than we would have straight out the gate. Look at that game right there. Giants losing to the Saints, which probably put the Saints in the playoffs. I think that was their 10th win, if I'm not mistaken there, which they dropped down to 12-4. and four. And who is this off the corner? Shark couldn't do it last week, but he beats Darby here. However, they could leave us wide open if we ran it. Eh. And come on, Josh. That chips away at the eight yards, man. It's a chance with Barkley's skill that he could have made a move or two and scored. Barkley up the middle. And ironically, look where we are, down to the three. Those four yards could have, you know, technically been a score. The fullback, quick throw to the fullback, and he gets the touchdown late hit there. No need for that nonsense. Punch him in the head. Oh my lord, he almost just removed his skull. The receiving options, I don't know how good Lopez is. Inside, wow, look at Freeman filtering. It's gonna be about a yard short. Two plays in a row, no passing, smart decision. <laughs> we're gonna run commit here, we're gonna run commit and we're gonna have Edmonds play and prevent. And we need him. Oh lord. And we backed up far, but honestly, if they wouldn't have gotten him, I don't know where we would've went. Probably gonna trust the ground game again, but we can't just commit the whole team. And that's a really good throw by Dak. Can't even lie. Baptiste was right there, but it doesn't matter. Brian Lopez. I thought it, I thought he was like a superstar development slot receiver in one of the drafts recently. I can't remember, though. Miles off the edge. 
He's been a bit of a disappointment, I can't lie. I was just about to mention Davenport. He's been the better of the two for sure. He's 16 sacks on the season. Miles Garrett with 11. Deron Payne can't get there, but luckily, Baptiste does. Of course, the, uh, the trend as of late has been lack of pass rush and just overall defense just not doing their job. So, it'd be nice to get off the field with only three points given. And Dak cannot get off the edge. Tremaine Edmonds was insane there. And that's going to be a field goal. Yeah, not going to get very many runs off on this play. This look is rough. Damn, they are ready for this. They left the running back. Barkley has a chance. Tries to double spin there. Gets about 15, which is a good play. But really was looking to run, but they, they did not want me to run. Thankfully, uh, Barkley sat where he was. There you go, Barkley. Oh, my Lord. If it wasn't for Barkley making all those moves the last play, he may have scored on that one. Toon on the inside might have a chance. Toon actually holds on down to the 20. Finally a big play from him. Hey, my boy, Toon. We knew you were special. Not in the bad way, okay? There's no need to, to get hurtful. And that's a really good throw, and the ball may kill a lady. Sorry. Oh, Jesus. In between and almost picked. Darby made up for that uh, that play on Shark there. Huge play. Doesn't help how delayed I was there, but, you know, sometimes you got to look things over. Preferably after you look things over, it doesn't get worse, though. Rolling out to the left. We're going to have to take a shot. We can't get it off. I think Shark would have beat him to the corner. Anthony Barr is a fast freak, but I think we just barely had him. Here we go. Forcing Dak to, you know, actually play against the coverage to convert. You know, before it was just kind of like mismatches, but this time... We should be ready. To the outside, and he finds Gesicki, that big target. Baptiste is there, but he can't get the hit. He should have went for it. I feel like we've been bamboozled. Oh, Tremaine, no. And Baptiste, that's not even Baptiste. That Lattimore gets completely cut. He's probably not even very much faster than uh, Tremaine at this point. And there goes Carter. Filtering through the, run, through the running back. Devontae Freeman should have just went for the block, and he didn't. In trouble. Dak escapes. Tremaine in coverage. Tremaine gets beat. Dak with the speed. Breaks a tackle from Lattimore and takes it 21 yards. He's in trouble. And Edmonds gets burned deep. That's going to be a tie game again. And the worst part is this isn't even, wow, look at the yards, exactly the same. This isn't even a playoff contending team. I mean, they may have had injuries recently and maybe they're healthy now. So who knows? Maybe technically they are. But they're, I mean, they're seven and eight, man. This is, this is not looking good near the end of the season. Going to take a shot to Cooks, who will not get the ball. I have to admit, I think that was a perfect throw. I just think that the, us throwing it to the left side, Cooks didn't have enough chance to turn and catch it. And he had to readjust to it. It was the only way to go. You know, we go straight up. That safety's getting that. So I think it was a perfect throw. I just think that it didn't work out. Sidearm throw. Probably should have set the feet. That's on us. Cut this back right. We're going to be in some trouble. Edmonds and company. And he's going to be safetyed. Perfect punt. Leads to the free two points. We're going to take him. Oh, my Lord. Look at this. Cannon. Cooks can't hold on to it, but unbelievable. How far was that throw? On the money. Evan Ingram underneath. Going to be the main look other than Vandermade. Vandermade is open, and it's another terrible throw. What a monster. I would not want him kicking me. He's so precise, he'd kick me in the intestine. Up the hole. You know where he's going to start the kick, but where it's going to end is in a very precise place. And we can't do that, but there is a flag. Thankfully, that will be a hold, hopefully on the interior, just so it looks like we actually needed, you know, that the hold was needed. One of the linebackers on the outside in case he cuts it back. Oh, huge hit. That's what I want to see from Baptiste. Edmonds, though, with a pop. You'd think right before half they would try to just, you know, kneel it or something or run it. Not anyways, not kneel it. Davenport in trouble inside. Nobody in sight. That's all Tremaine's job, and he failed it. Deron Payne. Fighting inside, and it's dropped by Lorenzo, who had a really good game last week. The pressure forced Dak to do a Dak thing, and unfortunately, we can't hold on. Try to force him back in with Duran, because we weren't going to catch him off the side. 
underneath, and Duran and company make the stop. We'll call a timeout just to get that two-minute warning saving. Underneath, Evan actually holds on to it for once, finally. There goes Barkley. Spins, gains an extra few five yards on that spin. Nice play. And there goes a perfect throw on the run. That is an amazing one by Josh Allen. That's perfect coverage by Byron Jones. Unbelievable. We, we try to test the timing route, and unfortunately, Byron Jones was up for the task. Not a bad, you know, not a bad throw by Josh. It's just good play by Byron. That's all it really is. You know, there's no way Byron should have known the ball was coming out there. And Teal misses. Edmonds with the speed, though. Wow. I really thought with that block, Lopez is going to be gone. Let's see if he's getting off his route. No, maybe not. And Edmonds, we can't keep up with him. Just been barely missing with Edmonds all game long. Stuck on the D-line outside. Obi jumps at the worst time. Huge late hit by Terrell. Honestly, should have been ejected for that low hit late, but they're going to take the lead. Of course, start of the second half. Look at the yardage, man. It has been close all afternoon. Of course, that late play there, they score on. We should have scored on ours, and that's you know that's been the difference in the score so far is just that last drive, last two drives. It's been a successful drive for them. It's a third and eight now, though. So they will take the eight-point lead if they get the field goal, but we can manage eight points. To the outside, and Lattimore gets turned around by Doxson, and we are now down two possessions. Maybe Gavin Ryan's the, the story that never was. Great play by Chark. Look at Chark still going. That's a tough man right there. 19-yard play, quick throw, play action. Look, we also benched Cook, so Gavin Ryan's going to be working with less talent. And that is unfortunately not a very good throw. I think he beat him, but another missed throw. That's not an easy throw to make, though. In between the safety and the corner. Over the line. What a damn throw. But, of course, that's going to be an illegal forward pass. Had to wait, but we had to step up to avoid the pressure. That's unfortunate. An amazing play, but it's not going to count. And we're going to lose the down underneath. And there goes another... Broken play by us. And on the outside, he's wide open. If we don't at least tie this game, the Dolphins could take the number one seed. So we really should be starting Josh. But he's playing kind of rough. The, the pressure's been getting there. We can't risk him for the postseason. To the outside, he's wide open. I don't know where the purple route is. No, we're pulling players out of position, but that's not his route. He's supposed to be playing the hook. That's got to be picked. How do we drop that ball again? How many picks are we going to drop today? To the outside. Come on, Baptiste. You got to get out there quicker, man. You're one of the best safeties in the league, and you play like a bottom 10. Like when Hall comes in, he's all over the ball, it seems. And he's slow. Good job, Lattimore. With a middle tune. Gets the first down, taken down similarly to Barkley. And baiting him short all game. Not all game, but all play. That's a decent throw. And wow, J.J. Nelson. What a catch. Get Barkley a chance to run the ball now. Up the gut. Really good play calling on this drive. Down to the 13. Perfect. Got to cap this thing off with a score. And Barkley may do it here. Barkley has a chance. And no, no, he doesn't. Josh Allen knows he has no chance to lose the job, so... There shouldn't really be any pressure on him. And here goes Gavin Ryan, who's going to dive for the end zone, and he may have gotten it. They're going to wave it as a touchdown, but I think he may have been short. They're going to say he got this. Let's take another look. We had a guy coming across the middle there. Bad decision by us, if we're being 100% honest, but he made a great block. Gavin dives for the end zone, and right before Darby could make another amazing play and kick it out, you can see he does cross the plane. So many places to go with the ball, and Carter, an amazing job to just cover so many different routes there. Give enough time for the defense to just get a little bit of pressure. Dak forced it and just completely whiffed. Uh, we had Toon. Gavin Ryan's going to take off again, but he has a lot of room himself. Gavin Ryan down the field for a gain of 32. Surprised he even allowed the trade to happen. If I was him, I would have said, no, I don't want to go to them. They've got their quarterback. 
But Josh is the better quarterback, and that's who you start. And we're about to throw it to J.J. Can't do it, though. We get sacked off the edge. Fortunately, that's been the name of the game most of this afternoon. We've avoided as much pressure as we can, but at the same time, they've made some plays. Barkley. Gavin's going to have to take off again. This time, he's not going to really get as much. He had to take a hit there to get as many yards as he could. Gain 10. Third and five now. And that's a terrible throw. He had two open, but hell, if he can't hit the short throw, he's not going to hit the deep one. Uh oh Inside, perfect. Toon drops the ball in the clutch. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, God, this is bad. We're not ready for this. And there's a pick by Tremaine. Tremaine now has 13 picks on the season. One more, and he ties the NFL record. Inside, a little bit of a delayed release there. Evan takes it to exactly about the 10. I think the only ethical thing, smart thing to do, would be to just give it to Barkley and see how much of this he can chunk out. The answer is maybe the whole thing all the way down to the 2. Good run. Gavin Ryan, get out of there. He couldn't throw it away, and we're just going to take a sack. So we're down to the 7 now. Uh-oh. Back of the end zone, and it's picked off by Alexander. He pretty much had to chuck that thing up. We did have one more play, but unfortunately, that's going to be that. Still have another chance. You know, at this point, we could have had two field goals, which would have been six points. And the next game, you know, the next field goal would have won the game. So it's unfortunate to be able to think like that. Hopefully, for our sake here, I guess I can't really even say that. I was going to say hopefully we they just win the game, but that would be stupid. Hall could get bodied here, though. We did move him to that side. Good job by Tremaine. Call our timeout, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll start this thing around the 40. Evan Ingram breaks the coverage. Evan dives out of bounds. Probably didn't need to, especially with them having three timeouts. We've kind of choked this game, man. We've had a lot of opportunities down here, and they've just completely locked us out. Barkley underneath. That's not a really good look at all. We didn't even gain two yards. Play action. Look, no, it's not a play action. Going all to the right. And Gavin Ryan is in for the score. He gets hammered, though. Unbelievable late hit there. With the running back coming out of the backfield, but I don't like that look. I don't think there's much of a chance that gets open. We'll take a look, though. That's a late hit. That was... Pass interference. We panicked there. No need to. Nelson would have come over the middle. He would have been wide open. Going to go for this onside kick. We have a chance at it. And unfortunately, we don't. Of course, it's Lopez that does it. And we dropped three out of our last four games. Luckily for us, we did enough earlier in the season to uh, make the postseason. And there's your score, 27 to 25. They finish at 500. We finish at 13 and 3. Guy yeah, Ryan, he played a pretty decent game. I can't even lie. He played pretty well. But, unfortunately, as a team, we just couldn't get it done. And, you know, we had Cooks out. We had Josh Allen out. Had some of the starters out. So, it is what it is. We, uh, we still should have won that game. We still had more power, more star power on the field than they did. You look at the stat line and, you know, we, I mean, just looking at the stat line, we should have won the game. It was a very close one, but we did better overall. We just had two turnovers, which sucks. Taking a look at the game combined for two picks, one touchdown, not very good, but Gavin Ryan did run in two touchdowns. Five for 59. He had a really good run uh, for 32 yards, which was amazing, even better than uh, Dak's game. Receiving Evan Ingram, another really good match. Back-to-back -back for him. Defensively, sack totals. Davenport had one, Miles Garrett had one, Lorenzo Carter with one. We had one pick. Of course, we know they had two picks. October that's the last game you're going to play is in October. I don't know. It's December. And stuff. So you guys probably know the drill by now. We're not even going to advance because we'll do a full stats and awards video next. And obviously that'll be us in the postseason after that. So moment of truth will, uh, will be after this. If the Dolphins did win, they do sneak away, I believe, with the division. Oh, maybe not, though, because I think it goes by division record, then tiebreaker. So we may still hold on to... Uh, the top seed. I think we still do. So, actually, we made a smart decision by benching our guys. I don't think we lost a single divisional match, which I'm assuming there's a chance the Dolphins probably did. But we'll find out. 
But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe. Like the video if you didn't like if you did like it. I mean, it's it's simple. You click like, boom, you're done, and it means so much to me. So if you can, if you want to, whatever. Uh, maybe follow me on Twitter, Journal PK. We finally have kind of like held on to 1,400 plus followers. Hopefully, we can get higher than that sometime soon. Be a part of that. You know, I tweet. I would tweet even more if you guys started, you know, interacting with me. But it is what it is. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.